The Quantitative Social Science Scholars Program at Carnegie Mellon is a unique opportunity in undergraduate education that complements a major in one of the social sciences uh, here in the Dietrich College. So students major in things like economics, statistics, policy and management, decision sciences, international relations and politics. And they take this program and it provides additional training in math and statistics to go along with this social science coursework. Students who are successful in the QSSS program are really students who want to study social science, but they also want to learn some advanced data analysis techniques. So these are students who are really interested in data, they like numbers, um, and they want to enhance their ability to look at human behavior through these different tools. The curriculum involves uh, rigorous training in math and statistics, um, starting with courses like calculus and probability and moving into statistics courses like regression. Um, it also involves a social science component with courses about decision making and game theory. Game theory is the study of strategic situations. That's also the subject of the freshman seminar that I teach. Then there's some courses on more advanced uh, quantitative methods that students can select from a menu of possible offerings and students complete the program with a senior thesis. So I was really interested in social science when I came into CMU um, and I noticed that you know Qtriple had a focus on social sciences um, so I came and wanted to do econ but I realized that there's so many other I guess areas of study that I could pursue and Qtriple has offered a lot of the uh, areas I was curious in. So being a part of the QSSS program is really beneficial for a student in terms of their academic career while they're here at Carnegie Mellon University and then also once they graduate and go on to graduate school or enter the workforce and this really happens threefold uh, with different aspects of the program. So first, of course, they're going to benefit from the curriculum of the QSSS program. So students are taking a core set of coursework that really surrounds this area of quantitative analysis and developing these tools and techniques. And these are courses that are in addition to the courses that they're taking as part of their major. So they're really able to learn new skill sets that are, are truly in demand by both employers and by graduate school. So of course the curriculum of the program is a big benefit. Um, students also benefit by the uh, seminar series is a part of the program. And through this series we have faculty members or practitioners who come in and speak to the students about you know, what their daily life is like in their job and in their career. And this allows students really to see a variety of different potential career options that they might not have even knew existed. So. Um, being a part of that speaker series and having the different exposure to all of those people is really a benefit. And then um, lastly, a benefit of the program that students will see you know, throughout their time here is that they're part of a cohort model. So students enter into the program together, they take courses together, and these are students from a variety of different majors. So being able to have those different perspectives and different viewpoints uh, is really beneficial. You get to experience you know, a, a different side of it that you might not just see in, in your own major. So being a part of that relationship and that cohort model is also beneficial. I got an invitation to join the QSSS program when I got accepted at Carnegie Mellon. And one of the main reasons I joined it is because I thought it would be a great way to meet people like me, people who had similar academic interests. And I also thought that I, ha I would have the opportunity to do a senior thesis under some of the best faculty at CMU, which would be a great thing. Uh, getting into the QSSS program was actually one of the main reasons why I decided to come to Carnegie Mellon. I love the guest speakers. Uh, a lot of the things that I've learned about the industry, or at least in my case finance, outside of academia, came through speakers. And I think that when they come in and tell us about their experiences, and some of them are just out of college, we can prepare ourselves going into the field and talk about uh, our goals in a slightly different light. And at least in my coursework, I've paid more attention to things that I've heard come up in their talks, and I'm definitely working on those things because I think they're going to be just useful for me. Uh, I decided to join the QSSS program because I thought it would be a great way to hone my quantitative skills and meet people who had similar interests to my own. Uh, I'd say my three favorite things about the program are the students in it, uh, the lectures we get to attend, and the senior honors thesis that we do through the program. Mine is on uh, causality in social networks and trying to uh, find a way to control for homophily in networks. I'm really interested in research on 
people's behaviors and emotions. Right now, I'm actually work working on research with a professor here on campus about um, facial expressions and particularly the emotion of fear. So I find basically like how people make decisions and how their emotions come into play when they make decisions really fascinating. Math and statistics can be useful in a variety of ways in the social sciences. If you're interested in empirical questions, what people actually do, then you need statistical methods to make sense of the data. Um, data that you can collect either with experiments in a lab or just observationally what we call out in the field. Um, there's all kinds of data that are now becoming available to social scientists. Um, we see statisticians all around us trying to make sense of this data. You might be familiar with Nate Silver on the website 538 who is able to predict election outcomes or predict uh, sporting event results with amazing accuracy because he uses data to make these predictions. But to organize data, we need statistics to know how to make predictions from data. Um, if you're interested in making predictions, it's also quite useful to have a theory of human behavior, and mathematical modeling is quite useful for developing theories of human behavior. Math can be a universal language for describing human behavior. It does have extra requirements, so those I guess it'll be a little bit challenging to work them into my schedule, but a lot of them overlap with my majors anyway, so that shouldn't be too difficult. The courses themselves will be difficult, and our freshman seminar first semester, for example, was challenging and really made you think a lot about game theory and the applications, because it was a freshman seminar on game theory. Um, but it's challenging in a good way. Like It's really interesting stuff, and it makes you want to learn more and figure everything out. So the program has certain course requirements um, that you know, if I didn't, if I wasn't in the program, I wouldn't have to take. Um, for example, I'm taking a class called uh, Decision Analysis, Decision Support Systems right now. It's called DADS, we call it DADS for short. Um, that's a really difficult class, but if I hadn't taken, hadn't been in q I wouldn't have to take it. Um, but I'm really glad I'm taking it right now. It's a really time consuming class, but I'm learning a lot. There's a lot of useful skills that um, you know, hopefully I can bring to the job market. I would tell them to go for it. There's no reason why anybody shouldn't be put off by an uh, admissions-only program, even if you don't get invited. Definitely try to join. If you have an interest in research and you want to apply to apply your quantitative skills to real-world problems, there's no better way than combining a humanities, a social science, with the technical know-how to make a change or do some analysis and provide a solution.